the next few videos, we're going to go over a lot of the ideas and concepts and how to get into systems trading and talk a lot about just the concept behind systems tradings versus discretionary tradings, benefits, things like that. This is just going to be a little intro series to talk a little bit about what it is, what the main benefits are and who potentially may be interested in systems trading. So by systems trading, I mean algorithmic trading, I mean trading based off data, based off statistics, as opposed to necessarily news and charts the way a lot of people do. So the idea behind systems trading is the main overarching concept is that what we're looking to do is we're looking to exploit statistical abnormalities in the market. So some people I even call this statistical arbitrage. A lot of people think auto trading, they automatically think HFT tradings and you know conspiracy theories about people seeing your orders and all of that. None of that is what we're talking about here. And to be honest, none of that actually happens. What we're talking about is a way to trade the markets that is not just I like the look of this chart or this company or something like that and then placing a trade. What we're talking more about doing is being able to test something using back testing engines, using charting tools, however it is that we want to do our testing. And then from there, diving into having a robot or having scripts place trades for us. And right off the bat, I think there's a lot of advantages that people will start thinking about. The biggest one being emotional control. I know a lot of traders who are are good analytical thinkers. They are people who are very good at, you know, looking at a chart or looking at a story and saying, yes, this is bullish for the market or this is bearish for the market. Uh, I'm looking at this chart and it's breaking down. And yes, this is probably something I should be short. A lot of people have that kind of mastered already, um, but then are not profitable. And the question is why? And quite often it's because they don't have a repeatable system that they can go to over and over and over again so they end up making a lot of emotional decisions. They make a lot of uh, more rash decisions on what it is that they're looking to do, as opposed to simply, I think XYZ is a good way to trade, so I'm just going to place trades based off what's happening, uh, what I see in the market, as opposed to potentially what I think. The other one is trading speed. So let's say you're somebody, you have a system and you've tested that system and it works and you actually have pretty good emotional control. You're able to stick to that system, whether it's performing well, whether it's performing poorly, regardless of market conditions, regardless of how you're feeling personally, you're very good at just sticking to, right? I buy stocks when they do X, I'm gonna wait for them to do X, I'm gonna do it. Well, sometimes you miss some and it may be the ability to uh, not watch enough stocks. I need. I see a lot of traders out there thinking more monitors and more charts and more monitors and more charts is the solution. Well, what if it's just the fact that you're a human being and you can't watch every setup that you're looking at? Whereas as systems traders, we can, right? We can watch hundreds or thousands of symbols at once waiting for certain conditions to occur because we're not the ones physically watching them and placing the orders and looking to hit the buttons. We're noticing that when stock, you know, gaps up and then breaks this certain moving average to the downside, quite often it's a good short. Well, instead of watching hundreds of charts gapping up and waiting for them to break a moving average and having to execution execute very fast and do the math in our head of how many shares to take so that we don't you know risk too much or risk too little instead of doing all of that we can just have systems do it and we can say okay this is the universe of stocks i want you to watch because they're all gapping up today and when they break this moving average take a trade or alert me in some way if you're not ready to go all the way there it's another way to do it. So if you find you're a trader who is great on the emotional control, you already have a system in place, but trading speed, you're missing a lot of trades. You're going back at the end of the day and you're saying, man, if I had caught this, 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 and this, it would have been a much better day. That's someone else who may be interested in kind of systems trading. The last one here is trading multiple systems. Now, 
This is something that's a little bit more advanced and hard for the discretionary trader, but very easy for the systems trader. And what are we talking about here? Well, trading multiple systems just means, you know, sometimes I'm a mean reversion trader, sometimes I'm a breakout trader, sometimes I'm an event driven or news trader, sometimes I'm day trading, sometimes I'm swing trading, sometimes I'm investing. The more you pack on as a discretionary trader inside these little ideas and these, these concepts of what it is to trade, the harder it is for a discretionary trader because you're you're looking at a chart and you're looking at it from the stand from five different standpoints. This is a mean reversion stock stock or a breakout stock or or whatever. Should I be going long? Should I be going short? If you are a systems trader, it's very easy to say, okay, I have built system A and that's built and now that's on rails. I just have the robot trade it for me. I, I watch it to make sure it's not going crazy. I review the trades to make sure that they're the trades that should have been taken after the fact, all of that stuff, right? It is easier then to say, once that system's going, now let me build another system that is hopefully completely different. Because as we know, there is not a single system in the market that works all the time. So you can either try to predict which market environment we're gonna be in, in order to trade the system that will work the best, or you can just trade multiple systems, reducing your risk to each one and spreading them out across different ideas. And the hope is that when system A is underperforming, system B is doing very well. That's something else that's a huge benefit, a massive benefit of systems trading. I see a lot of traders pigeonhole themselves into, I trade a certain way. Uh, and then the more styles you can pack onto that trader, the more their equity curve smooths out over time for those days or weeks where system A is not doing anything, well, right, you got system B that's hopefully doing something for you. Uh, so who would be interested in doing this kind of transition from discretionary trading to systems trading? Uh, the first I put someone with a, a proven system. So if you come in every day and you do the same thing every day and you're making money doing that same thing every day, you are the perfect candidate to systematize that trade. Uh, if you have watched me at all on the live streams that we do uh, every Monday to Thursday, I did this process where I came in, I had no idea what I was gonna do for day trading. I looked up a system, I've, I built that system, I started to do that thing every day, I ended up passing the account with it, and then it became to, okay, now I want to put this on Rails. Now I want to systematize this uh, entirely. So if you're someone with a proven system, it makes sense to take some time and start thinking about what parts of this system, if not all of it, could I systematize? Could I outsource so that I could get more trades, you know, with better execution, rely less on emotional control, all of these things. How could I, I push in this direction from the system side of things to make the current trading I'm doing better? And then maybe down the road, develop new systems and, and do everything else that we talked about there. The other person is someone who's a data first thinker. If you're coming in and you're staring at charts and you're reading news and, and you don't think that there's a, an edge there, you don't think there's a great edge in doing that specific thing, which is, again, looking at charts, looking at news, all of that. Uh, and you're someone who just wants to see the data. If I had done X over the last like couple of years, what would have been my outcome? Would have been possible or negative? If you're a, a computer science person or science in general, someone who looks at data and then makes decisions based off that data, that is another perfect person to come into the systems side of trading, where as opposed to being somebody who is now just trying to, uh, you know, quantum computers are hot and this is a, a falling wedge and I'm gonna buy the falling wedge in quantum computers. You're somebody who is, I'm just gonna build this overall system. And then from this system, I'm going to dive in and then start making those trades. That's who would be interested. So this is a good little intro to what we're gonna talk about with systems trading. Each individual place from each individual video from here, will go a little bit more in depth in different topics. And then we'll talk about how you can use signal stack with trade the pool in order to take whatever systems you build and have them automatically traded for you. 